Hello and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today we're going to talk about what uh, various um, menu features do to the screen and uh, why I uh, ended up choosing uh, what I did for the settings. All right, let's get into it. So one thing I got asked to test with uh, HDR and uh, local dimming zones was what does it look like with um, local dimming zones off? So let's go in here to, uh, where was it? System, local dimming, and I went and turned it off. There's auto. Let's go to a dark area, see, or a transitional area. Like that, get my focus in. Right now it's on auto. Come on, focus. Okay, go to system, local dimming, set it to off. Okay, looking at the dark areas. Go back to on. Yeah, I see a very real difference between the uh, the dark areas on the screen. I don't know if it's apparent on my camera. Uh, again, I'm just using a cell phone, so it's not the best camera in the world. I'm sorry, it's just the only equipment I have. So local dimming is a must-have. I would take uh, local dimming over in HDR just because being able to get the darker blacks, the light areas are gonna just pop by themselves more. So that right there is a uh, key thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other features on this display. Um, let's go down to black equalizer. So right now it's set to 16. 15, 14, my focus is out again. Let's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Yeah, that looks pretty terrible. And with it at 20, well, the top is basically completely gone. So I like around 16, that's my personal preference for this black equalizer, and that's just the adjustment between the uh, bright areas and the dark areas of the screen. All right, what other menu options? Free sync, we obviously want that. That's gonna be for our input lag reasons. Uh, virtual aim assist, if you really need that for your FPS games. Screen ratio is blacked out. I can't do any adjustments with that. I uh, don't really know what it does because none of the options I've been able to play with have gotten me into it. Um, picture mode, I like sRGB. Custom also worked really well. The brightness, I mean, choose what brightness you like. So the brighter you have it, the um, more bright areas are gonna look. But in HDR, wow, at 100%, it's way too bright to even like stare at the screen. Uh, the sharpness, color space, contrast effects, all these are very similar to um, what you have on other displays. So I'm flicking back and forth and they look pretty similar to me. Uh, yeah, I just have it paused on this particular scene. Uh, maybe not be the best. Uh, calibration of program, we looked into that. And um, let's see, how to switch source. Let's go back to local dimming and we're gonna see if we can find, there, that's a nice bright one. Get my focus on and switch it from, so that's off. And that's on. 
try to maintain off again, on again. So the blacks are just so much better. It's it's just not even a question. So, uh, yep, local dimming. Uh, let's go to local dimming low. That's auto, low, high. So I think um, auto basically will switch between low and high modes depending on the content that you're displaying at any one time. So I'm just using auto. Um, and with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you for joining me on uh, uh, some of the different menu options on the Odyssey Neo G8. Um, if you have any specific questions and ideas for video content that you'd like to see about this monitor, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Please subscribe.